Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a new thing with my hair. I'm gonna wear it to the side now as per one of my viewers requests because in my last couple videos, my hair was covering my mic and it sounded like there was a mouse chewing the wire. So we're gonna try something new. I'm sure that was super annoying and I'm gonna try not to do that again. But this video is not about self-loathing. This video is about the best gym fragrances for women. So I have, I think about 10 or 11 here. There's a couple honorable mentions and I'm just gonna go through what I think are the best gym fragrances for women. Uh, we have to keep in mind that we don't wanna be over spraying. We wanna wear something inoffensive, but still unique and interesting. And I have all kinds of fragrances here. Some are a little bit more woody, some are a little bit more floral, more fruity. Like I kind of have everything for you guys. There's some affordable, there's some a little bit more niche. We're just gonna get into it and I'm gonna stop rambling about what I have and actually show you what I have. So we'll start with a Zara fragrance. I really like this one and this is Twilight Mauve. This one smells a lot like the DKNY Apple. It's a very fresh and clean smelling. There's apple in here, there's watermelon, which I really like that juicy watermelon that's in here. And there is violet, there's like, like a little bit of muskiness. It's very clean, it's very fresh. I like this way better than the apple from DKNY. I don't like that one at all, it's pretty generic. This one's not super unique, but it's really fresh and clean. And I really like wearing this to the gym and spraying it after as like a refresher. It's not like beast mode, it's just like a nice, clean, fresh, fruity fragrance. It's great for the gym. And I think that's about like $25, this one at Zara. I'm talking Canadian dollars here. My next one is Elizabeth Arden White Tea. I have been loving this one. It's so good. It's just like a fresh, clean tea scent. It's very crisp. It's very um, like a white shirt fragrance. Like imagine somebody wearing like a crisp, clean white shirt. That's what this fragrance smells like. It's very like zen. It's very spa-like. You can imagine like drinking tea somewhere in a white robe and feeling very relaxed. I feel like you could even wear this to like yoga where they say you can't wear fragrances. You could definitely wear this and would go with the vibe. And yeah, I think this is a great gym fragrance and I really like it. It's really versatile as well. It's not just a gym fragrance. In the opening though, I do find that it's a little bit herbaceous. Like for the first 15 minutes or so, there's like a little bit of like a green bite to it. And then it's like a fresh tea scent with some like aquatic undertones. And I think there's some iris in here. It's like a little bit powdery. And as it settles, it gets more and more powdery, like a little bit like a powdery green tea. So it's really pretty, it's very elegant. So that's Elizabeth Arden white tea. These are in no particular order, by the way. I don't have a favorite or a least favorite. It just like, it's just mood dependent. And my next pick is Dahlia Noir Lo from Givenchy. And I recently bought this in a uh, Kijiji haul. I have a video, I'll um, put a card up somewhere up here. But yeah, I recently discovered it and it's a really nice like citrusy woody fragrance. There's a lot of cedar in here. I wore it a couple times. It's very elegant. There's like a bit of muskiness. There's a bit of patchouli in here. It's not a dirty patchouli. It's like a crisp, like clean patchouli. And it's like, imagine like a very classy, elegant lady working out, like this would be the fragrance. And it's just, it's something that'll be attention grabbing. It's a very elegant, it's very crisp, but perfectly appropriate for the gym. So that's Dahlia Noir Lo. I haven't tried the original Dahlia Noir. I don't know what it smells like. I just happened to get an amazing deal for this and I really like it. The next one is a Guerlain fragrance. You guys know I can't go a video without mentioning a Guerlain fragrance because I'm obsessed. Um, and this one is the Aqua Allegoria Tiasura. So this is just a really nice citrusy tea fragrance. And I was wearing this a lot last spring. I got it about a year ago. It's such a like beautiful, sweet citrusy green tea. Like imagine like a sweet citrus, not a sharp bitey citrus, but like a little bit of a sweeter, creamier citrus with tea. It's so beautiful. Like this is, one of my favorite tea scents for sure. I'll do a separate video on my favorite tea scents. A lot of the fragrances that I'm mentioning in this video, I'm realizing have a tea note and I guess it just works really well as a gym fragrance. This also has a really subtle note of chamomile, like a little bit like chamomile tea, but not the medicinal kind, just a little bit floral. There's some jasmine in here and just some really beautiful citruses. So that is Tiasura from Guerlain. 
And the next one is from Bilgari and this is Omnia Green Jade. This one has a really nice fresh pistachio note and it also kind of has a tea vibe even though there's no tea note in here but there's peony and there's some citruses. There's some woody and musky notes in here as well. What makes this so unique is that like crisp pistachio note. It's creamy, it's musky, it kind of has that milky greenness to it like the way that this bottle does and I think this would be a really great one for the gym because it's just unique enough to be noticeable uh, but it's not overpowering, it's very fresh and the longevity on this is actually surprisingly really good and it projects really well too. I've worn this one a couple times as well and I'm really liking this one and this one's never mentioned, like I don't know why nobody ever talks about it but this green jade is really really nice as a fresh fragrance so if you guys get a chance to check that out. Then I have Hugo Boss The Scent and this is just the scent, not Private Accord, not the other ones. This is a really nice light peach fragrance. I love to use this one for layering as well, but to the gym I would wear it on its own. And it's just a, oh look at this sprayer by the way. It's a really nice sprayer. Yeah, just like imagine like a nice fresh juicy peach, but a little bit musky as well. It's very clean smelling. It's very pretty, very feminine. And yeah, it's one of those, like it smells a little bit different, you know? It's not like a basic generic smelling peach. It's not synthetic smelling at all. I really like the smell of this one. So that's Hugo Boss, the scent. I already wore quite a bit of it. I actually randomly layered this with wood sage and sea salt and it smelled really nice together. So that's another possibility. If you guys want to layer, try layering this with Joe Malone Woods Agency. So I got a really nice result. I only did that one time. But yeah, that's because it's been winter here for most of the time since like I've had these bottles. So I just didn't really get a chance to layer a lot of spring scents, but I'm going to be doing that now. The next one is a Dolce & Gabbana light blue flanker, and this is Love in Capri. I'm as much as I like light blue, I'm kind of over it just because it's been around for so long. Everybody wears it and it's just not that interesting anymore. But this one is like light blue with a twist. It definitely still smells a lot like light blue. Like it still has that DNA. I'm just going to spray it. But it's more creamy and more floral. There's like a little bit more of a pronounced jasmine note in here. I think there's like some honeysuckle as well. It's just a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit more floral. It's basically, it's exactly like light blue with a twist. I don't know the longevity on this because I only wore it in the winter and it wasn't that great, but I would imagine it's the same as light blue. Like I'm sure you'll get like five hours out of this. And it's a really nice gym fragrance as well. Just very clean. All of these are very nice, clean fragrances. They're unique as well. I'm gonna start ripping these in half because I'm noticing I have a lot of fragrances here and maybe not enough scent strips. So the next one's going in a different direction and it's just like molecule based. And this is Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. I only have a mini of this, but I love to use this and I love layering it. But on its own, it's really nice. It just creates like a really nice, clean, like cloud around you. Just like, um, just like a fluffy aura around you. And it's not imposing. It's not going to bother anybody. It's a really subtle, very pretty scent. Just like very fluffy, you know? So yeah, I definitely recommend this one for layering or for just wearing on its own. But to the gym, I would... I don't know, I would go either way. I would, depending on my mood, I would layer it or wear it on its own. The thing is like, it's not gonna interfere with any other fragrance when you layer it. It's not gonna make anything worse. It's just gonna add like a little bit of that woodiness, you know, that like woody, fluffy, like what molecule fragrances have. That's what this basically is. It's like synthetic molecules and it just, just smells clean and it projects really well too. Okay, and the next one is Givenchy Ange Démon Le Secret. And this one, I also recently got. I got a lot of these recently because I've been stocking up for the spring. It's another tea scent. Okay, I'm obsessed with tea scents, uh, but this one's really different. This one's like, um, like a citrusy tea with like cranberries. It's like a really yummy green tea with like, that's infused with like cranberries. So it's just really good. It has really good longevity. It's got like that certain fizziness to it, you know, like um, like a sparkling green tea almost. It's so good. It's like got a little bit of effervescence. It's really yummy. It's really fresh. And like, it's like a unique tea scent. So that's Givenchy Ange Démon Le Secret. 
And this is the EDP. I'm not sure if there's an EDT version. And then I have a couple honorable mentions. So one is a niche brand and it's the different company and it's called Pure Eve. And this is a tester bottle, so it doesn't have a cap. But this one just smells like a really expensive cream. It's like an almondy like body cream. It's just, it smells like a really fancy expensive cream. That's basically all it is. It's like, it depends if you guys think that it's worth it for the price point. I got a really good deal on this bottle and I think it was $60. So I've used quite a bit up, but it's just a very non-imposing, clean, creamy skin scent, like a little bit almondy. I think there's heliotrope in here. It's musky and it's just a, like a pretty expensive cream. A pretty expensive cream. It's, it's really nice, but it's up to you guys to decide if it's worth it for that price point because you could just put an expensive body cream on you. Like, I do like it, but I don't know if I would have gone for it given the retail price point. If you guys can get a good deal on it, then I'd go for it because it is kind of a unique smell, especially for the gym. It's just a pretty powdery, like almondy clean scent. I'm just realizing now that I'm totally blended and I'm one with my chair, but yeah. I totally forgot one and I meant to mention it earlier, but it was so tiny and it fell to the bottom of my basket. This is Mosquino Toy 2. This is like a really yummy, sweet, almost like candy-like Dolce Gabbana light blue. I've worn this a bunch of times and I love it. It's just so much, like it's everything that you want Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue to be and it's lacking. This is like a creamier, sweeter, almost like soft, fluffy version of it. So I honestly, I probably would say out of all the ones that I mentioned, this is my favorite, even though I was gonna not do 10 to one. Like it's not 10 to one, but this is number one for sure. So. I don't know how I forgot it, but yeah, if you guys can go and check this out, I got this little one at Sephora. I like redeemed 250 points for it. So they might still have that once in a while, but yeah, definitely check that out. And then back to my honorable mentions. So this is part of the list. Back to my honorable mentions. Um, so we talked about the different company Pure Eve and this is Burberry Sport. And yeah, it's a little bit unoriginal because it's sport and we're talking about the gym. But the reason why I like this one is because it does smell a lot like Wood Sage and Sea Salt from Joe Malone. If I can open this bottle. It's kind of like plasticky. It's, it's interesting, like the bottle is interesting, but it's, it's plasticky. Like it feels a little bit cheap in your hand. Anyway, that's not the point. Yeah, it opens up with like a really pretty like kind of saltiness, like a salty musky sort of vibe that Jo Malone uh, Woods Agency Salt has, but this is more citrusy. And the reason why it's only an honorable mention is because it does fade very quickly. Like I don't smell it after about half an hour. So I would say this is like a great refresher after the gym, just kind of like to spray and refresh yourself, but it's not a very noticeable fragrance. It's pretty, but it's like barely there. So those are all my top picks for women's fragrances for the gym. These are ones that I wear myself and I would love to smell around me when I'm at the gym. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.